This is Down to the Wire 513. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another Down to the Wire 513 React video right here. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Oh, shit. Not going out of the way. Twitter. Man, all that. Never like out the way and shit. <laughs> Fair play. Fly man, what's going on, brother? How you hey feeling? man, it was good, man. We hey, it's, it's trade deadline day. We in here, bro. It's a busy day today. In my regular life and, and sports life, it's just a busy day. Hey, Very facts. Day. That's facts. But you know, we sports man is nonstop news, man. You know, we, we couldn't wait. To, we couldn't wait a whole another week to talk about the trade deadline on the pod. So Could don't get that, yo. Too much going on, bro. It's too much going on. We you know we talked about some trades yet yeah, last night on the pod. So if y'all didn't listen to the podcast last night, episode two nineteen down to wire five one three, check that out. Uh, YouTube, Facebook Live. Uh, we post clips on Instagram as well, so check that out for sure. Uh, we touched on a couple of trades that went down before the trade deadline ended, but today hey, it's going crazy. Went crazy, went crazy. And also, Apple Podcast, Spotify, all that, iHeartRadio, everywhere. Everywhere. Podcast. Let's go. Let's go. Jump right into it, man. Like I said, a lot of trades went down today, man, but none, none bigger than the trade that we uh. We talked about it a little bit on on episode on pod uh, episode two nineteen, man. Uh, we didn't think they was gonna pull the trigger, but hey, they did. I ain't gonna lie, I did not see this coming today. I wasn't James, like super shocked, but yeah, I was, I was shocked. James Harden to Philadelphia for Ben Simmons to Brooklyn. Obviously, there, there's more pieces involved, but those are, those are the two big names. Uh, the full trade details is. Uh, the, the Nets get Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, a 2022 first round pick, and a 2027, which is crazy, uh, first round pick. And then, Phil, then, then Philadelphia gets James Harden and uh, Paul Millsap. So just instant, instant reaction, brother. My first scene is I said, oh, shit. It, it happened. Like, that's the first thing I said, oh, shit, it happened. Uh, of course, the first first big thing you see is, is, is James Harden for Ben Simmons. So uh, seeing that, I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Um, I thought it was a good trade for both teams. Now, looking at the all details, man, Philly, what Daryl Morey, what are you doing, dog? I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Now, I get you got James Harden now, but damn, bro, you gave away Seth Curry, one of, one of the best shooters in the league. I don't care what the percentage is this year. I don't, I don't care what y'all saying about him. One of the best shooters in the league. He proved the last year in the playoffs as well. Um and you gave away two draft picks. You went from asking for draft picks to giving up draft picks, dog. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. Yep. That yep. means that that means that he really covets James Harden. He thinks that he thinks James Harden is is just God level. Which he I mean he he is in, in in some sense God level, but he he's not. I don't know if he's gonna get them over that hump. I, I I'll, I'll I'll leave it at that and let you go ahead and react to that. There your first reaction. Uh, first reaction, man, I was, I, I was shocked because I didn't think they was gonna pull the trigger. I thought everybody was gonna stay put. Um, I thought I thought Ben Simmons was gonna fizzle out in Philly, but once they did it, it did ultimately kind of make sense because uh, as reported on episode two eighteen, two podcasts ago, we uh, we talked about Ben Simmons and the fact that he got vaccinated. And mm-hmm. we, was, we was like, he got vaccinated. I mean, you only needed you can only mandate is only in New York or L.A. So he could have played anywhere else, but he got vaccinated. Now it makes sense to why he got vaccinated. Yep, it all yeah. makes sense. Um, but man, uh, a little happy for both parties immediately. I think down, to, I think long term effect. I think it's going to impact uh, Brooklyn a little bit more because obviously Seth Curry and Ben Simmons are younger than what James Harden is is up in Philly. I think Daryl Morey is almost in a win, like a, a win now uh, mentality. Definitely now. Um, one part of the a trade detail that uh, we I did not I did not report, but in agreement, James Harden is opting in to his player his uh, player option, so he will be in Philly next year. He's not opting out to be a free agent. Uh, this oh, so he's not opting out. That, that was that was in agreement. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Okay. Because that was what I was going to bring up. If he opts out, he's going to be up for a $270 million extension um, next year, this summer, which would have been, I think, in a couple of years, would have been the worst contract in NBA history. I think immediately would have been the worst contract in NBA history. For me, I would have said that immediately because at age 38, he would have been making $65 million that year. <laughs> Crazy. So, I mean, if, if they got him to opt in, 
that's good for them. But they they also like you like you said, it, it basically ties them to a win now situation. They have, they have to win now. They have to. Um, and with with what you just did for Brooklyn, you just buffed them up. If you ask me, Brook, Brooklyn got, I think, definitely better with this trade. Um, I think they got they got immensely better. If you ask me, with this trade, because um, James Harden gave them things that they didn't really need. I mean, great, great. I mean, it's, it's great to have a James Harden on your team, but did they really need James Harden to handle the ball and and, and to beat James Harden? He was in Houston. That's that's where he's at his best. If you ask me, when he's being a like, like, like that hybrid Steve Nash kind of kind of uh, guard, uh, and they don't really need that in in uh, Brooklyn, you know. Um, so, I think this trade works out best for both parties, personnel wise, um, because it got Brooklyn. Well, Brooklyn for sure. It, it, it got Brooklyn better defensively, Facts. Um, much better defensively. Because now KD ain't got to guard Giannis no more. You can put Ben Simmons on Giannis, and he's, he's still gonna get cooked. But still, <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna save KD's legs in that fourth quarter. Now he won't be as tired anymore in the fourth quarter because he's not gonna be having to guard the best player. On the best uh, on on the team anymore on the on opposite team anymore. So it, it definitely helped Brooklyn. I think a lot more. Um, well, I won't say a lot more, but it definitely helped them out more than I think it helps Philly out. Yeah, I think that's like I, you just hit nail right on the head. Like that. Like we all like when the big three got assumed, Kyrie, Harden, and, and Durant. We was all question like, okay, where's the defense coming from? And, yeah. and we seen last year. I mean, hell, last year and when when they first started playing, like they were scoring a lot of points, but they was giving up a lot of points too. But now, yeah. I mean, I know I know Ben Simmons, Ben Simmons and, and Curry like are the, are the focus points, but I actually like the Drummond move too because that gives him a, yeah. a, a certified big, and he can still play. He still he still he still hustles, still young. he still yeah. bangs, he still get rebounds. Um. So yeah, now my only my only question is, um, I know we and we hit up a group chat, and I know. Doc was said uh Brooklyn want, basically want to trade. Now my only thing is my only thing is, and I think it's you that said uh he doesn't need to score, which is true. But what about the home games Kyrie can't play in when it's when it when KD just becomes that focal point? As of right now, I would say it's, it's it's much easier to at least for the home games, it's much easier to focus on on KD. Than KD and Kyrie on the away games. Definitely a good point there. Um, now what I'm hearing is word on the block, word on the streets. They saying that the mandate may be up by playoff time, in okay. in, in New York. And I, I don't know if it's true. We talked about it last night. I don't know if, if if COVID is getting better. We haven't been hearing as much news about it, so you're, we're assuming it's it's you know numbers are going down. So the numbers are going down and and continue to go down. The you know mandate might be gone. So that may not be a problem anymore, uh, but good point though. You're right because if if it's not gone, or if COVID spikes again, they bring a mandate back mid playoffs, mid series. Who knows? Um, definitely will be definitely will hurt them because he's going to get score. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going to have to score. Well, I mean, but again, they they still have Patty Mills. Yeah, they still have. They, they just got Seth Curry now. Joe Harris is hurt, but he'll he should be back. He'll, he'll be back soon. Um. You still got Kevin Durant, bro. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's, Durant. that's a big thing. It's KD's health at this point moving forward. Yeah, yeah. And for um, Philly, though, man, I just I, I like the move for Philly though because um, too, like I said, they weren't getting anything out of Ben Simmons, and even if he was playing right now, he's not going to get them what James Harden's going to get them. He's not going to be able to have that skill set that James Harden has that's going to help them. Uh, so the fit is is perfect for both for both teams. I think the trade makes sense for both teams. Personnel wise, I think just Philly may have got a little. Um, I don't know. I think they overvalue James Harden a little bit too much. I think um, I think they value him a little too high with this because they end up, like I said, giving up draft picks, giving up another shooter. Um, I, I think. I mean, even though they, they still have Tyrese Maxey, who's, who's a nice young player, he's definitely emerging this season as well. Tobias Harris is still there. Yeah, Tobias Harris still there. Um, Cause Doc was like, "Oh man, Philly is tripping." I'm like, nah, I mean, it's 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 not the best trade for them, but it's still, they 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 line up is still fire, still fire. Because I mean, you gonna he gonna automatically plug James Harden at the one. Tyrese gonna be playing the two, or the one when James Harden don't fly playing the one. So I mean, I think it's gonna work out be- uh, good for both teams, honestly. Now my last my my last thing is uh, I, from from Philly's standpoint is. Uh, 
I I'll, look. I'll, I said it on the pod. James Harden to Philly, like we talked about a little bit on episode two nineteen. Like if James Harden were to get trade traded, I think his championship value almost like remains the same. Like I think Philly is has just about the same as odd amount of odds as current situation with the mandate in New York right now as Brooklyn. Yeah. Now, now if that mandate gets lifted, then I'll easily Brooklyn becomes the favorite in the East again. But right now with the mandate, Kyrie only playing away games. Maybe that's why they losing. Maybe that's maybe they want the, the worst seed so they can possibly they maybe have so. more, more road games than home games. Game. Maybe so, man. But um I don't know. Well you know. only thing will you keep in, in Philly, will you keep Joel and B in the paint with hard and controlling the rock now? Because you know he like the spot up spread it out a little bit, you know, spread it out. So um that's why like even like just just for Philly, man, it was it was the best thing you're gonna end up getting for for Ben Simmons, honestly, at this at this point. So I mean, you can't knock him for doing the deal, but they they have a lot, a lot more question marks than Brooklyn has right now, um, because you really don't know how James Harden ain't, ain't got along with nobody he's played with, honestly. Hmm. Like, let's go back and look. I mean, I don't say nobody, no star player at least. Chris Paul left him. Russ and they ain't really mesh well playing together either. They still boys, um, but yeah, they ain't yeah they still boy, but they ain't mesh well. Um, Dwight. Dwight. Like you know, every every star he gets paired with is just now KD and Kyrie. If you want to count that, but I, I think I I, I kind of more so being KD. You know, because um, I think KD was vocal and, and wanted him to stay, and I think today it just came to the point where James like, bro, nah, I, I'm you you and your boy, yeah, y'all can have this bullshit, and I don't blame James for for one out, um, out of situation because I mean it is kind of some bullshit that's going on with the way they kind of treat the situation with Kyrie, but. It's not really professional, but hey, it is what it is, man. I mean, and and and, K, and KD, I mean, he, he just did the the All Star draft, and they asked him about it, and he and basically the quote was, uh, "Both parties got what they got what they wanted." Yeah, so. and if you see, uh, he made James Harden the last pick. <laughs> yeah. So, so, no love lost there, boys. But hey. <laughs> You're right, man. Both parties got they wanted. I mean, I think, I think, uh, I think honestly, I think originally, I think James wanted to go that wanted to go to Philly. Um, it just happened in Brooklyn and pulled the trigger first. Mm. And I think, well, I don't want to say pull the trigger first. I think Houston didn't want to deal with their Mori. They just <laughs> they just got rid of the guy. Like, why would they want to trade our best asset to you again, bro? Like, no, we're not gonna trade you to him. Mm-hmm. We're gonna send you to Brooklyn, and Brooklyn did them a solid by sending them to him. I mean, for them to do that, it's it's Usually you don't you don't see teams in the same division trade each other like that. Yeah. You know. Um and they might just have done themselves a disservice. Philly might have just done us a disservice, man, because if healthy, man, they're not beating Brooklyn. Yeah. I agree. I agree one hundred percent. The last thing, my last thing with, with, with Brooklyn, we go discuss other trades. Uh Drummond can't be on the same can't be on the, on the floor at the same time as as Ben as Simmons. That ain't gonna work. Oh no, that ain't gonna work. Pack it in, boys. Let's back up. Let's yeah. go. Back it up. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. So. Stay with us. Yeah, <laughs> nah, that's not gonna work. Not gonna work. All right. Uh, some uh, some more moves that that went down. Uh, this was kind of shocking. Uh, just just to where he landed, I, I knew they was looking to move him though. But uh, Kristaps Porzingis ends up in uh in Washington. Yeah. That was a crazy one. That was a crazy one. Um, I heard his name out there, but I didn't think they really move him. I, I, I thought they would try to stick it out this whole year with him, but that kind of shocked me, man. And then to get who, what they get back for him, um, uh, Dallas got Spencer Dinwiddie and uh, Davis uh, Bertans. And I, I, I like the Bertans move because he's a sniper. Yes, yeah, basically going to use Bertans the way they tried to use Porzingis last year. Just stand on the wing, little get the ball, shoot that thing. That's all they're going to have him do. Um. So I mean, I like that. I like them getting him, but you can't get nothing, nothing better than Spencer Dinwiddie, bro. Like, come on. Basically, that's just because then they, they're not going to use him. I don't think they're going to really have a spot, a spot for him. You got Jalen Brunson backing up Luca at a point, basically. Um, and I like I like Jalen Brunson a lot more than I like uh, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. I'm sorry. Dinwiddie. Yeah. I'm sorry. So Spencer, you ain't getting off the bench, bro. You know, you just got to pay. You got your little deal. I I probably looked at man. They can't trade him again. I don't think I'll do a Spencer. I'm gonna want him. Yeah, nah. 
I was trying to see if I could buy him out because, like I say, he just, he just he just he just signed that deal doesn't, though. Doesn't, doesn't doesn't fit in rotation. Yeah, yep. he just signed that deal, so they're gonna have to. It's gonna be a hefty a hefty buyout. And I don't think I think his deal was like three years too, so they're gonna have to. Uh, unless he take a big cut out of that, which I don't think he gonna want to do that. He gonna be like, nah, I just won't play then. I won't pay me. <laughs> and yeah, Bert and Berton, he on a three year deal. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so yeah, they're gonna use him though because he's a sniper man. He's gonna, yeah, he gonna be. Gonna Mm-hmm. He's gonna be standing out there on the wing, like 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 that Porzingis doing last year, <laughs> but he ain't gonna be complaining. But honestly, I don't think this trade like helps Dallas as far as becoming like even more of a championship contender. Nope. I mean, at, at best, at best, I just I still think they can get to the second round and get bounced. But yeah, yeah, I think this just kind of, if you ask me, just kind of weaken their power. Like 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 Porzingis can go out there and in a playoff series, he can average like 22, 25 points a game in a playoff series if he hot, you know. Yep. Um, can these guys do that? Neither one of them, no, neither one of them can't. Spencer might get you 28 in one game, you know, once every once every while. And uh, Bert's hands, he, he, he'll get hot every once in a while too, but they're not going to be as dynamic as Porzingis would have been for them. Facts, facts. And uh, and from uh, Washington Wizards' standpoint, I just think, uh, I mean, I was, I'm here they're in the rebuild mode. I mean, I don't think they're they really lose nothing with, with this trade. I think they said Porzingis was on a I think he has two more years left on his deal. I mean, yeah. for Washington, I like it. I like it, man. You, um, damn, I like it. You kind of pair him up with with Brad Bill. You get Brad Bill some some a little bit nicer to work with um, well, for one year because remember he just had sur- sur- his uh yeah. wrist surgery. He done. Yeah, for so yeah, he, he out this year. But I mean, yeah, next year they're gonna come back. You know, they should definitely be at least looking to make the playoffs. Yeah, you have Porzingis to him and and Kuz. They they, they seem like Kuz a lot. He was off the limits mm-hmm. trade talk, so they seem like Kuz a lot. So. You know, get him, Brad, Bill, and Kuz together. Hopefully, they can at least make the playoffs, play in games if they play in any next year. Right. So we'll we'll see we'll see what the future holds for Washington. I mean, Washington was very busy on this trade day, uh, on this uh, day two. They moved uh, Montrez Harold to, to Charlotte. Damn, but, really? Yeah, well, which I, I like. That. That I, I like that move. For, I like that move for uh, for Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte gets too. Charlotte gets Harold, and then. The Wizards get back Ish Smith and uh Vernon Carey Jr. Oh, that's a great trade for Charlotte. Great trade for Charlotte. He fits right in what they kind of need too. They kind of they kind of play that grit style, man. He's he's a dog. He's a dog. Yeah. So he's gonna fit right in with uh with Bridges, uh PJ Washington. He's gonna fit right in with those guys at the at the four slash five, whatever you want to put him at. Yeah, I think he just he's just more of a like an OG basically. And he like yeah. provides him that toughness. Yeah. So I definitely, I definitely like that move for uh, for Charlotte, for sure. Uh, Derek White, he's out of San Antonio. He's uh, he, he got sent to Boston in exchange for Josh Richardson and uh, Romeo Langford and and a first round, a twenty twenty two first round pick. Mm. Um, having watching a little bit of Derek White when uh, DeRozan was down in San Antonio, I like I like this move for uh, for Boston. He could be. You don't think it's too much? Hmm. Uh, not, not, not for what I know. Derek White can can do for him. Like he could easily be, he could easily be in a running for in a space like Boston. Easily be a six man, uh, okay, six man of the year. Sneaky, sneaky, athletic, a little, little uh, streaky uh, shooting, shooting sure. ball. Yeah, that's what I've seen. A little streaky but he, shooting, but he he can he can definitely defend too. I th- I think he's, I want to say almost like a. A better athletic Marcus Smart. Okay, I I would have probably agree with that comparison. I thought it was a little it was a little steep of a price for him, but I like the move. Uh, let's see who else. Boston also sent um I don't know if you're gonna probably get to this one too, but Boston sent Schroeder to um. Oh yeah, here it is. Yep, Schroeder to uh, uh, Houston. Houston, Houston for Thies. Mm-hmm. Daniel Thies back. I got him back, so Boston, <laughs> Boston busy. <clears throat> Excuse me, Boston is busy. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Where? Let me pull up. Where is uh Boston in the standings right now? Uh, oh, there. I think they're Boston. They are seventh in the East. So okay. I think with these additions, I think with with these additions, I mean they can. I mean, hell, they're they're really not out of it for 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 first place, but I think they I could think they they'll be around the four four through six range with the, with these additions with the additions. 
Um, I think they'll push only. I think Max still gets like fifth. That probably be fifth, sixth somewhere in there. Um, I don't know, man. I think they, they, they should have went ahead and, and got rid of one of the one of the Jays and probably Jalen Brown. They probably should went ahead and traded him. Mm, yeah, I would. I, if, I, if I was them, I would have reached out to um, Portland. I would reached out to um, <laughs> shit Sacramento. Boys. Um, Sacramento. I would try to reach out Sacramento and get the Aaron Fox or somebody try to try to get a point guard up here with uh Tatum. Yeah. Speaking of Sacramento, man, uh they got rid of their uh was was he 2017? Bagley was, was he 2017? Yep. Second overall pick, right? Yep. God damn. In the in the four in the four team in the four team deal. So Sacramento gets Dante DiVincenzo. Josh Jackson and Trey Lyles. Uh, uh, they sent Marvin Bagley to Detroit. The Clippers get Rodney Hood and Semi Ojale. And then the Milwaukee Bucks get Serge Ibaka and the 2022 second round pick from mm. Detroit. And the 2024 second round pick from Detroit. So four year, four year, four, four teams involved, a lot of moving parts. Yeah, it's a lot, man. I like that trade though for for Detroit. I like it for um I don't know what Sacramento really doing. I yeah. really don't. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell what they're doing, man. Um, Detroit and Milwaukee, for sure. Yeah, Detroit Milwaukee. Yeah, Detroit Milwaukee I like I like to move for. I, I like Milwaukee getting um Baca. I don't I, I don't like them really getting rid of uh D, D Vincenzo. Um, but you know, getting uh who they get, um Milwaukee, they got the Ibaka. Yeah, getting Ibaka is gonna be nice for them. Um, another rim protector, sometimes. Yeah. Spread the floor. <laughs> Spread the floor. Being nothing on a lot now. He, he, well, he barely even played these days. He back though. Even he, he been playing lately. He got back. He got back healthy. So he been playing lately. Um, but he can spread the floor. He can shoot the rock a little bit. You know, he kind of play like that Bobby Portis kind of spot when Bobby Portis is not in there. Yeah, sparing him. Uh, I would almost say, I almost almost say he'll probably be. Like how to use Greg Moreau when he was up there. Like hey, he'll, yeah. he'll be used like very sparingly, but hey, he's a he's a former champion. Yeah, he's um, a champ. He's he's been around he's been around for a while, so there's somebody yep. definitely to in, in the locker room. Good vet to have him in the locker room for sure. And then Rodney Hood to to the Clippers. I mean, obviously, yeah. Clippers just we we don't know what they are until we see PG and and yeah. why come back. So you know, saying PG might be done the rest of the season. So next year it is for Clips, man. Uh, this one we ain't got to dive too much too much into the Pacers. They sent uh Tory Craig to Phoenix for Jalen Smith and a pick. I like that move for the uh Suns. Mm-hmm. Added more de- added more depth. Yep. He probably happy as hell. He get a chance to go get a ring now, possibly. <laughs> uh are we seen oh we talked I think we talked about this the other week. Uh Bobo got Bobo got traded. He's on um, he's in Orlando now. Oh, you were talking oh. about that. No, no, we didn't because we traded. We talked about who he got traded to Boston. Oh, he got traded again. Yeah. Oh, we talking about that. I thought. Oh, I thought. I thought it sounded different. Where we say Orlando, but yeah, he got traded again. Goddamn. Yeah. Now he's in Boston. I mean, now he's in Orlando. Yep. Well, that's a good spot for him, though. That's a good spot for him. Develop his game. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Not, not expected to win. Find yourself they're, as a player. They're a young team. They're all down there just trying to figure it out. It's this a good is. Spot for him. This is the one because I want to see. I want to see where this guy ends up going. Toronto got rid of Goran Dragic. Uh, they sent him to San Antonio. Mm, bought him out. Yeah, and 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 San Antonio is expected to buy him out. Um, and if Toronto got gets Thaddeus Young, Drewy, uh, E Banks, U Banks, and uh, and some picks. Hmm. Interested to see what's happening in the buyout market with 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 Dragic. Hmm. What? Just, just quickly, what, what do you think should uh, be a good fit for? Um, I don't know. It, it kind of depends on what he's looking for. He's looking to be like a, a role player, like when trying to win somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Somewhere like Boston can use him. Yeah, Boston can use him. They probably won't mess with him though. Um, Milwaukee, be nice, Milwaukee. Um. That's two I thought my head could think of. I'll say I think I was thinking either Milwaukee or Chicago, but Chicago he was probably he had to take a pay cut in Chicago. Oh, big time. 
Uh, if, if he get bought out, though, he, he can he'll probably go bet minimum, so he'll be all right. All right, uh, and that's most that's all the trades because the rest rest of them happened yesterday, which we talked about episode two nineteen. So make sure y'all go check y'all go check Tap that out. That. It's happening at the show. Trade deadline, NBA trade deadline twenty two. It came and it went, man. Headline by James Harden on the Philly. Ben Simmons is now in Brooklyn, man. Hey, good luck with the Brooklyn fans and uh, that New York media, Ben. Yes. Man, KD, I'm praying for you. We got to deal with Kyrie and Ben Simmons now. Good <laughs> luck, brother. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, bro. That's facts. That's big facts. Should have stayed in, in the Golden State, brother. Should have stayed in Golden State with Stephen Curry, man. You, that's the chef it is. I, 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 we, we, we talked about that on episode 219. Go, go make sure you go check that out. Uh, before 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 we end this reaction video, man, quickly I'm gonna pull up here. Uh, let's see if I can find if I can find out how to do it. Uh, pull up here, Team LeBron versus Team KD. They was drafting while uh, while we were while we were on. Let's see if I can find them. Let's see if I can find it. Come on. Yeah, let's take a look at this, man. Get an early uh, gauge how this All Star game is gonna go. How's it gonna be? Oh man, I don't think I, don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. But... Oh no, let's see. I, I'm about to, sh- to share screen. That'd probably be the easiest way. All right, bet. All right. All right, here we go. So this is team, this is team Durant. We're taking a look at first. All right. All right. I think my glasses on. Let's see. So the so the starters he drafts. So the starters. Uh he drafted MB, Ja, Tatum, and uh Trey. Those are the starters. Then the reserves, uh, Wiggins, Book, Cat, Levine, DeJounte Murray, Chris Middleton, LaMelo, and Rudy Gobert. KD, what is he doing, bro? <laughs> what, what's going on, dog? Oh, so, uh, so you, you're not, not, a big, not a big fan of this team. Or you don't think it's the I mean, best I team? Like, I, like the, I, mean, I, like, I like the players, but... Right, together, right. nah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play individually, but you know, together. Uh... I said, man, I, I just think KD just don't. He just don't give a damn, man. It's like he's he's not pl- he's not playing in a game, so it's like let me just do this because I'm the captain. Yeah, which I think, which I think, in my opinion, since he's not playing, I think he should have fell to the the second highest vote second getter, highest vote getter in the East. Should happen. Whoever that would, whoever that yeah. was, yeah, somebody who actually has a stake in the game. He had no stake in the game. He don't care about this shit. Yeah, you don't care. Uh, it shows. It shows. This, is, this should be Team LeBron. Let's see if we can get this open. That was Team Durant. It's team Durant again. Team. Okay, this is Team LeBron right here. Let's see what you're talking about, bro. Let's see what you're talking about. See, now this is how you know LeBron be playing genuinely everywhere he go. That's <laughs> how you know. That's how you know because he be on teams more. You know. Sensible. You got point guards. You got shooting guards. You got bigs. Makes sense. So you think? So you think basically you think a, a GM, possibly owner of a team, is on LeBron's future? Oh, definitely. I mean, not GM because he he's way above that. But owner of a team, he's he's gonna be Jerry Jones and Jerry Jones in it up <laughs> very soon. <laughs> LeBron and this be just, Jerry Jones in it up. And honestly, like this just looks like a team. Like, like this is like this could honestly be like a, yeah. a Olympic team. Yeah, honestly, it could be. Yeah, you got everything you would need. This is a great team. LeBron, man, come on, man. He's built so many championship teams. He hasn't won it all the time, but he's built so many championship teams. He well, knows he, what he's doing here. Well, not not this year in LA. He didn't know what he was doing. Similar this he tried. Great. He tried. <laughs> but that rust move was just not smart. I don't know who put him up to that rust move, man. Somebody had to hit him up like, look. So it, was, it was somebody in LA, bro. Somebody in LA put pressure on him. Call him right now. So my LA call and said, "Look, man, you gotta get you gotta get rusty. You don't want nobody healed." Hey, <laughs> you see how it turned out, man. Brown looks stressed. He looks stressed, bro. Hey. At this point, LeBron just hanging it, just hanging on as long as he can until Brownie get here. He looks stressed, bro. <laughs> Gray hair is coming out more than ever. All right, man. That's been another down to the wire five one three react video, man. Make sure y'all give yes. us a follow on everything, man. Down to the wire five one three. Tap in. Just Google us, easiest way to find us, man. And make sure you tap tap into the podcast, man. We live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. on uh YouTube, on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitter Live, 
And if you can't catch us on the live, man, make sure you uh, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Wooshka, Anchor, wherever you listen to your podcast. Everywhere. We everywhere. everywhere. We everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is D. Taren Bland. My brother, Flyman Rand. For all the brother Josh Doc Evans who couldn't join us this video, man, we'll catch y'all. We'll catch y'all. So we'll catch y'all sometime soon, real soon. Sometime yeah. soon, maybe sooner in the, the podcast. We got some more sports shit happening this weekend, as y'all know. Exactly. Super Bowl, Super Bowl for this Sunday. So you know what I'm saying. So we gonna we gonna catch we gonna touch with y'all probably before the show Wednesday. But y'all just say say a lot things. Y'all figure out. Yes, sir. Till next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Check out our YouTube page down to the wire five one three. Like, comment, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we put a new video up. Peace.